This poem is the closest I've ever come to making a translation or a version of another poem. I can't speak any other languages fluently, but this came out of my study of poets who couldn't speak other languages fluently, but who were making translations. In particular, Ted Hughes. I studied Ted Hughes's translations from Hungarian, which he didn't speak. And anyway, during this time that I was studying it, I became interested in a long poem written by a Hungarian called Ferenc Juhász, a long poem that he wrote called The Boy The Boy Changed Into a Stag Cries Out at the Gate of Secrets. And it's a very powerful poem that had been translated into English by several different people. And Ted Hughes got hold of one of these English translations and decided that it wasn't as good as it could be. So he started to write a new version of this poem. And I became very interested in what changes was he, was he making and by, by comparing the two versions, how could we learn about more about Ted Hughes's poetry and about his aesthetic and in the changes that he made. So I took this poem, um, these different versions of, of this poem about a boy changing into a stag, took it on a train with me. I was in England and I had to travel to London from the north. While I was doing the study on the train, the train stopped at York Station and a stag party got onto the train and kind of took over the carriage. And so while I was reading this poem and looking at this rowdy group of young men, I just got this idea that I had to write my own version of, of events. This is a lot shorter than the Hungarian one, and it's, it's different, but it, it takes that idea of the boy and the stag. So my poem is called Stag Boy. He enters the carriage with a roar. He clatters in wildly and fills up the carriages with heat, running through the train, staining the floor with hooves dirty from the street, tearing at the ceilings with his new branched horns, banging his rough sides against the seats and the women who try to look away, gallant. He sings hard from his throat, his young belling tearing at his chest, pushing at his boy throat, stag boy. The train's noise hums in his ears, sharp and high, like crickets pulsing in the tall grass, and he wounds it with his horns, maddened like a stung bull, pushing up his head, pushing up his mouth for his mother's teat. Where is her beastings? Where is the flowered mug she used to warm his milk in? No good, no good now. He's smashing out of the train door. He's banging his hooves in the industrial air. He's galloping through the city squares and drinking from a vandalized spring. And still his mother walks through the house crying, Stag boy, oh stag boy, come home.